Hi and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be working on this trident or Chinese maple. It's a tree that I originally started from seeds and uh, I grew it as a root over rock style in the field and uh, a couple of years ago lifted it up and put it into a container. You can actually follow the process in a blog that I wrote and I'll put the link in, um, in on your screen to the top left hand side I believe it will be, or no, to the right hand side. Um, um, but today I'm going to be giving it the last uh, once over for the season. It's uh, very late autumn, early winter. And uh, when the leaves change color like this, then it's safe to, to go ahead and do the last pruning of the season. And this is not going to be heavy pruning. It's uh, just really just um, a lighter type of pruning. And uh, just doing, um, just checking the soil, making, uh, just checking if I need to do some repotting in spring. And uh, just give it a general once over basically. So starting from the top of the tree, I'm just going to use a pair of defoliation shears to trim these leaves off. Obviously some of them can, can already be pulled off, um, but those that are sticking can just be cut. So after having cleaned the, the leaves off, I'm now going to go through the tree and do a little bit of trimming and uh, also cleaning up of uh, some old scars. going to put a bit of wire on um, to position these branches so that in spring I can make use of the, uh, the, the growth push to fix these branches into position. Um, you just need to, if you're going to do wiring um, which will stay on in spring, you just need to make sure that you don't do the, make, try and make the wiring fairly loose and uh, just keep an eye on it because uh, with a deciduous tree like a trident maple that grows so strongly in spring it can very rapidly start to bite in. So having done that now, um, finished with the wiring, I'm just going to seal all the cuts that I made earlier. Um, it's important, with it, particularly with trident maples, that um, it, because they have such a strong pressure of sap flow in spring, um, to make sure that it's sealed very well, otherwise it's going to leak. The fact that um, the fact that we are that I'm doing this pruning now while the sap is still, there is minimal sap movement still in the branches, means that by the time spring does come around, um, the, this would have already had a chance to heal to some extent. Um, obviously not callus over, but at least to seal off those areas that have been exposed by the cut.
So I know that this tree has been in this container for a couple of years now and if I look at the, uh, firstly the surface, I can see there's a fair amount of uh, sort of the algae growth. Uh, it's green and that means it's staying wet for a very long time. And if I use uh, uh, angled tweezers, I can rake and raking off the surface, I can see there's a tremendous amount of surface roots as well. Um, combined with the fact that the seasons, this last season's growth was um, somewhat um, suppressed, uh, I would say that this tree uh, needs to be repotted in the spring. Um, I will use a mix of uh, akadama, pumice and lava, uh, using two parts um, akadama in that mix.